Hey guys, this is Knox here for Knox Locks. Today I'm going to be uh, covering tension tools and hopefully crafting one in an attempt uh, or another step towards my blue belt. Okay, um, for starters, before I go building anything, let's. Uh, I'd like to talk about my experience and journey with tensioners. So, in an attempt to learn, you know, maybe uh, it's going too stiff, too hard. Uh, this is the Sparrows version. And a uh, quick example. <clears throat> Use this for the bottom and the top of keyway. Just like that, you have it pinched. And then you can kind of see the how the dials turn right there. It kind of gives you an idea of how hard you're tensioning the lock. However, for me, uh, it wasn't very educational. Anyway, it's the tensioner I'm going to be building today. It uh, was commonly referred to as the Chris Capone double-ended tension turner. That's kind of the secret to it right there. Uh, another guy made an awesome video about this, Fish Picks. Uh, his video will be linked in my description as well. And um, I was going to give you a brief history of um, other tensioners I've made. Okay. So here's a couple I've tried on the market. That, uh, let's see. Here's one I'll, I'm going to kind of warn you against. Let's see. I'm going to find it. It's the... I just had it out here. Christina Pyrtis. It's the multi pick. There you go. It starts at like a 0 0.8, and then all the way goes to 1.4, so you can see its thickness. This is part of the Christina Palmer set. But, um, like, look at how much of the keyway it takes, and I'm going to have to have, kind of turn the lock. Look how far out that is. Like, I want to show you a top of keyway. So, like, if that's a uh, standard top of keyway tensioner, look how far out that bottom goes. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Where your hand would normally go. It's trying to fall all over the place. Would normally be tensioning like that. I mean, this thing, I'm trying to show you depth perception, which is not really working out here. But it's a, it's a very far stick out there you go that's my finger that's a very far four inches that it'd be sticking out of the lock i'm gonna say it's not very practical but at the same time again if you wanted to look inside of the lock and actually try to see the pins i guess that's where that would come in um let's see another ones that i was interested in was the kilomaru set from sparrows so, okay, um, basically the deal with these are, I tend to over-tension, you know, so I thought the springs would help lessen the tension, you know what I mean, so it wouldn't be bound so tight, and that the binding pin can flip, and the spring does not really do that, in fact, it just kind of dampens the feedback, so you just kind of get nothing much really for me at least um this one was a little different a little better in the sense that i guess maybe because there wasn't as many components to it this one <clears throat> oops sorry about that rather than going way back here where there, i guess it's kind of intended to be where you know so the springs are intact uh, i would kind of just choke up a little bit and just kind of use that one as a tensioner. And with, as long as you're choked up, you could still get a decent uh, feedback from there. But I, I, again, not something I'd, I'd prefer, you know, recommend. Or... Now, this little guy's from Southward, I believe. Yes, it is. Come on. Okay, there you go. Southward. And this is super feather light tension. So... 
you know, I'm trying to learn Tapa Keyway best I can. The problem is, as you can see already, it takes up a lot of the keyway. So, <clears throat> even if you're turning it, that's, that's a whole nother thing too, the, uh, the tension. So let me, I'll show you bottom of keyway real quick. Okay, so even if I was tensioned bottom of keyway, again, with that spring, you still would not get a lot of feedback. It's just, again, to me, not very practical, especially with the handle and the however many wraparounds. So uh, those are kind of the, um, you know, the more fringe exotic, so to speak, you know, not so commonly used ones. And um, now we're going to get to a more modified for use. This is from uh, Lock Picking Lawyers Covert Instrument. Uh, kit this is the ergo turner so the idea with this you have the top of keyway and uh, the idea is you're able to sit comfortably while it's in your hand without having your thumb straight up you know what I'm saying so You'd be able to pick longer. You shouldn't be able to have as bad of cramps. It shouldn't it be. I'm going to grab a pick. <clears throat> Again, this is the, the Covert Instrument uh, Ergo Turners. So. Now, with these, the problem I tend to have is setting, well, with any type of keyway, really, setting that one pin without shooting the, uh, the tensioner <laughs> all the way across the room. And <clears throat> I just find that that other, this one's actually a little narrow for this lock, but, uh, <clears throat> I just find the one I'm about to show you, or about the one I'm about to create, is a much better version for that. But at the same time, I would just like to get this open. I think I overlifted it for. Hmm. See, I'm trying so hard to not overset one. Okay, there you go. I think I finally just set it. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> the point I was making, I'm not too good even with these ones. So, I started crafting my own. Now, this weird monstrosity. Okay, this is my own take of top and bottom. And I slightly incorporated a little bit of the twist of the Chris Capone method. So... Even though it's on top of keyway, well, actually, this could fit top or bottom depending on the the lock. But look how much tighter, at least for me, it's bent up into my finger. So for me, you know, even ergonomically speaking, like the way the uh, the covert instrument uh, ones were, this one just uh, seems to work a little better. So let's see if we can make it work. Fill something down. Hold on. There we go. See, that's another thing. You really have to kind of throttle this one here. P. 
Pin one, good. Pin two, click. Three, nothing. Four, good click. Five, good click. Okay. One, good click. Two, we got an open. See, look at that. Now, I'm going to show you it's open just a, one more time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the turn? Okay. Open. Yeah, it's funny. I was, uh, how I opened joint custody, actually. There's a little funny story. Ten minutes in. Okay. <clears throat> I brought joint custody over to my, um, grandfather's house that we've been emptying that i've been bringing back tools from and uh <clears throat> my aunt and uncle have always wondered you know what it is i actually do in lock sport what it is how it's popular why people like it they're just locks they don't you know understand so i brought joint custody and the way i just described it to you out like out loud meaning like nothing on one you know bounding on two i did that to my aunt and uncle and that's how i got joint custody open so it's kind of weird it's kind of like i don't know in my explaining i'm also doing you know or explaining my actions it leads to better opens which is kind of i don't want to say weird but it's just interesting for like a little bit of a teaching perspective anyways the point is you see that this monstrosity works and i like it but uh that's not what we're going to be building today. Today we're going to be building. Uh, let me put this down. Again, as I explained, a version of this year Chris Capone double-ended tension turner. However, <clears throat> let's see. This is I'm going to show you one that was made by my grandfather, one that was made by me, and one that's made by. Peterson's. Hold on. Let me see if I find the Peterson's. There it is. Okay. So, <clears throat> this one is most like Chris Capone's original. And this one's made by Grandpa. And the reasoning of the, the double twists is so that I'm just going to keep my spiral at hand. <clears throat> Whether you're going top of keyway or bottom of keyway, your finger's always resting on a flat surface. See what I'm saying? So that that's the idea. Now, uh, as I've been kind of taught and experimented with, I get better feedback without the bend. So, um... Wait a minute. This is the good. Okay. This one's uh, sold by Peterson's. Okay. This one's called Bent with a Twist. And it has one side bottom a keyway. And then the twist. I could tell because that's a much better and professional and proper. <laughs> yeah. I turned mine counterclockwise. They did their clock proper way. Anyways. Uh. So, you know, there is a commercial version of it through Peterson's. Uh, this was another one that was in pop. So that has a straight no bend on it. So what I'm going to do today. And this is uh, thanks with a little help from um, lock picking developer. Again, when I purchased the uh, skulls and keys, it was nice enough to throw in uh, these here tension uh, wire, you know, um, wires for tension turners. And in here, as I mentioned in the trucker video, I just assumed that they were all the same type of uh, windshield, wi uh, windshield wiper inserts, uh, something like he this here. And uh, I noticed a lot of things recently that I had aren't exactly what I thought they are real quick to go off track what I mean by that is uh like the Bosnian bill uh thing that I bought with these locks over here in there 
was just, uh, I thought, a no-name, or a sledge, just generic. But if you look, if you see where those lines are, there's actually two shear lines. So that's the normal shear line one. And then that's shear line two. So if you look, I'm going to flip it back for you. And I'm even going to turn it around. So there's even double pin stacks. Like you can see right here the, you know, the caps that are holding them in. So I mean, to me, that's a, that's a really cool thing. From what I understand, it's uh, most commonly used in elevators. You know, it's kind of like a on-off or, you know, operational, disoperation, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's cool. That's just one more thing that makes you think maybe it actually came from Bill. But uh, the point I was making is lockpicking dev. I thought, ooh, ooh, good thing I didn't knock that over or stab myself. <laughs> I thought they were all windshield wipers until I saw these two guys hanging at the end. And those are piano wire. Much to the shape like this guy. So, of course, he's been hammered flat and, well, not very well filed. But, I mean, I think that's awesome. You know what I mean? So I got a couple nice long stems of piano wire here. As you can see, I could probably make a couple tension turns out of her. So that's cool just to have. A, I never had, a, you know, piano wire or music wire to. Wow, that's stiff. <laughs> you just heard me slingshot that off the wall. Okay. I'll have to find that in a minute. But, uh, yeah. So ultimately, we're going to. Bend one of these here, and I'm thinking this is probably the prime candidate. Let me see. I want to spill them all over the place. Actually, eh, they're both about the same size. I was going to pick a smaller one because, really, right, this is kind of a small bend. But they're all generally give or take about the same size, so okay, I'm just gonna pick this one. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm put the rest of these right over here. I can get some rubber band or something and put them back together. So, I'm going to be using <clears throat> this year uh, Vice Grip by Trucker. And before I used the needle nose pliers, and while they worked good, these ones actually have a little bit wider grip. At the end of that video, after it was done, uh, let's see, where is the one I crafted? This one, as you could see, I ended it ended up straightening it. You can still see it's a little high on the turn. When I was doing it, it was pointing almost like straight up, so I did have to kind of bend it down. But it's a working shape. Okay, so now ideally, I'm gonna bend the bottom of a keyway this way, and then top of a keyway this way, and then give it the twist. See how it is there, and see if we want to do the whole official kind of 360 double end let's see <clears throat> where's the prime example where was the one from pops let's see hmm. let's see i'm trying to see if i wrap it around twice i ain't pops right here i'm just looking at it Okay. <clears throat> I just wanted to see. Yeah, those are two separate directions, not just a bend and a half. Okay. So, for the top part, about that. 
The bottom part's even shorter. Okay, I'm gonna go longer for the bottom of the keyway. And I'm just gonna bite nice long keyway. There we go. Now I'm gonna do a nice hard perfect. So that's just a 90 degree bend. And release it. Now as you can see, that's honestly just a 90 bend. Now on this side, actually, yeah, that's that's short. So on this end, I'm gonna go much longer. Let's see how far I could fit that. Yeah, that's a good. Okay. Because I really want that to go into the bottom of the keyway. All the way. Okay, so that one's obviously bending up. So I'm going to bend this one down. Okay. And make that a little more snug. Okay, so that's about 90. Now when I release this. So that's nice and long. Let me grab my, sp my uh, Sparrow's revolver. So. For the bottom of my keyway. Okay, that'll work. Now for the top of keyway, technically that would work. But technical is not what we're trying for. So, let's see. First, let's see if I want to do the double twist. And really what the benefit is. That's the one I'm going to... And so, do I really want to just grab this and twist it for, I want to say no good reason, but, uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna stay with the straight feedback and just bite this here. And now I'm gonna give this a nice firm... Uh, kind of like I said before, you might want to have the lock you're going to use uh, nearby, in my case right there. As you're making this turn, you want to make sure as you're turning it, well, one, you don't want to overturn it, but B, you can see how it lines up see that when I overturned a little bit but now you can see how it fits perfectly in that keyway look at that perfect so <clears throat> if I wanted to go top of keyway I can go in just like that and that leaves me plenty of room at the bottom of the keyway to, let's see, where's my, let's try this guy. Okay. And one, click, two, click. Reset pin one, try it again. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. I can kind of feel this binder pin there. I just don't know why it's not. Okay, let's try the uh, bottom of keyway at least. Let's see what we got going there. There we go. Okay. Okay. 26 minutes in. But we do have a Chris Capone double ended tension turner. A little long. You know, I'm going to turn this part back a little bit. Hold on. And honestly. Uh, the guy fish picks. He does a great, much better version of this than I just <clears throat> just did. Just as far as he got, uh, he's got really nice illustrations and uh, real good visuals to really kind of help break it down, and explain it to you better. So let's see. Maybe that'll do a little better for the top. I guess I could try to put the other. Uh, The other bend in. I mean, wouldn't be the end of the world. It's always that first pin I have a problem with. I understand. So does everybody with type of keyway, but. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's try the full twist. Okay, let's put the revolver down. So now... Okay. So we have that part down. And these are definitely different size widths. So let's see if we can put the bend in. <clears throat> so this one, it simply looks like about an inch and a half or so down. Um, <clears throat> now see, this is where Trucker done thought ahead. As you would need two sets of, at least pliers, but obviously vice grips to, uh, to do this little trick here so that's one side with a twist <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan style okay and then this one if I'm duplicating that again you want to give enough room for for bottom of keyway so about there I know From that about there for that one. And then simply show you this on the screen, then that. So that's 180. Well, technically, I guess that'd be 90, not 180. Okay, so now that's bent. <clears throat> I 
Now I'm going to release the... Uh, Vice grips are off. And there we go. We have a double ended Chris Capone tension turner. Now, <clears throat> Pops is a lot thicker, but at the same time, yeah, it's not. Every lock's not going to take the same exact thickness or width, so. Uh, without further ado, you know, for my blue belt tool, with this is my model, and with Chris Capoon and Fish Picks as my uh, inspiration and uh, I guess you would say mentors, that I fabricated this year tension turner. So, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Feel free to comment, ask any questions or any comments or anything like that. And uh, let's see, I'll bring this up for you. locks for nox at gmail.com. And uh, here's some teachers. Two. Fucking amateurs. <laughs> and most of all, thank you. So, that's my board. This has been Tension. We're Tension Tool Making for Lock Pickers United Blue Belt. Okay, put that like that. And I mean, this wasn't a tool that I made before. I guess I could have got my blue belt for it. But, nevertheless, again, reminding you... Anything is possible when everything's unlockable. Later.